What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ward Plays where we're obviously continuing our speed run through Resident Evil HD Remake. But you already knew that. And if you didn't, why are you watching episode 8? Go watch episode 1, you damn episode skipper. Jeez. No manners up in this bitch. Let's pick up some of these goodies left to us in the corner here. We got a defensive weapon, a first aid spray, and some grenade rounds. All items we can use, so pick them all up. We're also going to be passing a storage box in case our inventory is too full. We can dump some of that stuff off in there if need be. I'm going to bust out my grenade launcher for these pesky hunter assholes. You know, knowing when the hunters come and where they're located doesn't make facing them any fucking less annoying. Hunters and chimeras are just straight up dicks, period. Seriously, in the instruction booklet, these things should be called dickhead and asshole. Another thing to note with the hunters and all enemies in general is, if you kill it and it's not a critical kill like a headshot, then you need to wait for it to bleed out before you exit the room. If you don't wait long enough, the enemies won't die and the next time you go in the room, the enemy is going to be back at full health. And who knows what else? Maybe they'll bring some friends and throw you a surprise birthday party even though everyone knows it's not your birthday. They just want an excuse to get drunk and eat all your fucking food! Wait, I think I went off topic there. The moral of the story is, if you kill something, make sure it's fucking dead. Let's pick up- wait, no. Fuck you, Herb. I don't need you. Wait, do I? No. Yeah, fuck you, Herb, and your delicious temptation. Trying to tempt me all condescending like that? You know I have no self-control. Piece of shit. So, the first time I did this part, I totally thought I was going to die, but somehow I figured it out and persevered. Did you guys die here on your first try? Blink once for yes, smash your face into your keyboard for no, or, you know, just comment. I mean, whatever works for you. Don't forget to nab this defensive knife. Though, by the end of the game, you're probably going to have way more defensive weapons than you really need because you really only use them for the zombies and kind of the hunters for the most part. But, you know, get them just in case. You never know. And you could be doing a lot more terrible than I am. I don't know. I'm doing, like, not so great. But hey, you could be doing worse. Who knows? So, get them. They'll save your ass. It's better to have more than you need than less. Just do it! And then you can see I have a pretty healthy supply of shotgun ammo because we pretty much avoided everything in the game up until this point, for the most part. But now we have plenty of ammo to kill the bosses and the hunters that are going to be in our way and other such dog shit. In fact, I'm going to waste some ammo here just to clear up my inventory a little bit. And plus it gets them the fuck out of my way. Hey! You see that fucker? Eat a rocket-shaped dick! But anyway, like I was saying, waste that ammo, get them the fuck out of my way, two birds. But then he had to fuck up my genius plan. Motherfuckers got no respect.
Wow, way to fuck that up. Yay, I knew I could do it. You just have to believe. More shotgun ammo here. See, at this point, we could probably shoot and kill everything we run into, but it's just faster to run past them than it is to kill them. It's not as enjoyable, but you're just gonna have to get over it. I know, I'm a terrible person, but let's face it, you're probably a terrible person too. I'm just kidding, you guys are like the coolest people ever. What a jerk-faced asshole! Wow, this guy's just a dick! Oh, wow. Fucker. Seriously, that guy was an asshole. Keep your hands to yourself, creepy a bitch. Alright then, it's time to get a piece of that bitch ass snake face motherfucker. So last time we just damaged the snake enough to get the cutscene for the shotgun to trigger and then we ran away like a itty bitty teeny tiny itsy bitsy little person who isn't ready to fight the yawn yet. Boom, what? What did you think I was gonna say? But now it's time to kill this bitch. And luckily I'm not gonna get poisoned here, but that's only because you can't get poisoned here. To be honest, I'm surprised I didn't somehow find a way to make it happen. In fact, I'm a little disappointed in myself. Oh snap. I had an OG Resident Evil moment there. Press the start button for the inventory. Oopsie daisy. They should have had the snake melt like it did in the original where it would just fucking literally melt into the floor. That was fun. And then Barry would come in and walk right into it as it melts into his boots. What is it? Totally oblivious. Oh Barry, you stupid motherfucker. Yeah, buddy. Thumbs up for going the wrong way on a speed run. Oh yeah. Unlock this door real quick for the sake of getting rid of this key. And then we just got one more door, I think, and then this key's done. And then that's pretty much the end of the mansion, I think. And then we're headed over to Lisa and then the labs.
We'll need these books until we actually go to fight Lisa, so they can stay in the storage box and rot for all I care. Books! Fuck them. I hope you guys liked this week's video. If you did, please feel free to smash the shit out of that like button and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.